Hello, in this Steam Deck video I am going to show you how to play PlayStation 2 games using the PCSX2 emulate which has great compatibility by the way on your Steam Deck but setting it up using EMU Deck because it simplifies the process and you know configures a lot of the stuff for you. So I want to say from the start this video is not condoning piracy, I legally own a PS2 and the game that I'll be trying and I recommend for legal purposes that you do too. Okay, so first of all you want to go into desktop mode if you don't know how to do that that's fine click the steam button here go to power go to switch to desktop doesn't take long to load and sometimes i find you have to wait a few seconds for the mouse to kick in using the right trackpad faster with the newer updates to be fair so if you use the right trackpad you can move the mouse and if you click you can, I clicked and dragged, but if you click the right trackpad, it will trigger a left click. If you click the bumper, the, you know, the right trigger, it will be a left click. If you do the left bumper, it's a right click. So those are the main inputs that you need to know about. And you can obviously use your finger as well, but I find it's more intuitive to use the trackpad and the bumpers so now what we need to do is go ahead and download emu deck as always i recommend that you check the compatibility for the playstation 2 game that you are going to be playing you can use the compatibility list in the description which is the official compatibility list so feel free to check that out and or, or you know also go to youtube you know, search for PCSX2, Steam Deck, and the game, so you can actually see how it's running on the Steam Deck itself. So now search for EMU Deck. To search, to type something, you have to press Steam and X, which launches the keyboard up. So the Steam button and the X button, and like I said, just type in EMU Deck. Okay, so it has gone to the website, but it's emudeck.com. If you Google it, it'll be the first link. Go to download. Go to download installer. And copy install to your desktop. That's fine, we'll be doing that soon. And I've already, you know, got it downloaded. So I've got like three copies of it now. Now we can actually close this down. And what we can do is go to a downloads folder if you've configured your downloads to be somewhere else then obviously go to that location now go right here you want to copy it to the desktop so right click it using the left bumper go to copy go to desktop right click go to paste one file I'm not gonna do it because I've already got it but once you've got it there and you can see it right here you just double click it so I'm gonna press the right bumper twice you open it up in a few seconds. Here we go, checking for updates. Because I've already got it installed, it's going to go through the process as if it's updating it. But that's fine. You just go on to custom, go to continue, and now you choose where you want it installed. If you want it on an SD card, internal storage, or if you want to customize the exact location that you are putting it. I recommend SD card and you know gain sd card like a terabyte two to terabyte something along those lines okay so i've already got it set up so another thing with the sd card it needs to be formatted using the steam deck if it's formatted you know on another device like a computer put it into the steam deck it may work for certain stuff but it won't for everything so put it into the steam deck copy whatever you back up whatever you've got on there and format it on here we've got a separate video covering that feel free to check that out link in the description click continue and select your console which for us obviously is just steam deck continue and now from here you select the emulator i'm going to deselect our pcs3 because i was just doing that previously so i'm going to select pcsx2 don't worry if you've already set up emu deck and let's say you set up Dolphin and Reading, so maybe you're a Nintendo fan. You come back here, you deselect them, it won't uninstall them, it just won't do anything to those emulators. You'll leave them as is, so you won't try and update them or reconfigure anything like that. Okay, so PCSX2, there we go. That's the only one that we want to select. Go to continue again for the update, just going to select PCSX2. 
continue and now we can set up a theme for emulation station i'll be showing that soon but feel free to check out the different themes i'm gonna i'm gonna try rb simple in this tutorial i do quite like epic noir but i'm gonna try rb simple go to next for install homebrew game you can just select no should be selecting no by default click finish and it'll go through the installation installation is quick does not take long if you're only selecting one emulator if you choose all of them as i did in my thora uber emu deck video it does take a while so just bear that in mind but otherwise it doesn't take too long There we go, it is now done. So next thing you wanna do is add all your games and the BIOS files. So to do that, you go to wherever you installed it because I put it on my SD card, it'll be in primary, otherwise you just, you know, you just go to home and you just locate it there. So for me, it's down here, primary. And it's the emulation folder, ignore all the other ones. In here, go to ROMs, find the PS2 folder, there we go. In here, put all your games, so I've got .iso files, so you just paste them in here. So I would, you know, you can download them directly to the console, you can have them on your computer and then use something like Winpinator and Warpinator to copy stuff over or create a separate video. I, I, I'm trying to think if I've created a separate video on that. If I haven't, I will because it's a really cool and useful tool. Use it all the time. And okay, so once you've got your games on here, obviously I can't provide links to games, you know, for obviously piracy reasons. But if you Google the name of your game with PS2 at the end and download it on Google, you're gonna get it it's it's not hard you know there are places and in general if you have any questions about anything in this video feel free to post on our discord group link in the description okay so now we need to add a bio file and that's again in emulation bios and you just paste it right here so for some of the other emulators they have their own folder set up like reujinx and yuzu but if they don't, this is a solution for PS2 and other emulators. You just put the BIOS files right here, which I already have. So using the copy and pasting techniques that I've already shown you with, you know, the right trackpad, left and right bumpers. Now that that is done, we're actually all set up on here. We don't need to do anything else. We don't need to configure the gamepad. Don't need to do anything. Now we can go out of this and got one last thing to do. Do launch Steam ROM Manager. Go to yes. Okay, in here, by default, it'll probably look something like, let's say if you've got multiple emulators selected, you'll have all these. If not, you'll just have like the PS2 one down at the bottom. I'll say deselect all this, just select emulation station and emulators and click save. If it gives you an error, that's fine. I'll find it still saves anyway. So what have we just done right here? If we select the particular emulator like PS2, you see I had like 20 or so games, they would appear in my regular Steam library. You might think that's pretty cool. Imagine if you had like a thousand games, let's say a thousand Game Boy games, and then let's say a hundred PS2 games, and then 20 PS3 games, and 40 PSP games. Got a pretty big, you know, SD card, but let's say if you did, they'll just take over your regular Steam library. So we wanna separate it out a bit. So by using Emulation Station, it's a separate app that allows you to navigate your, what's it called, games. And Emulator's toggle allows you to have like a little collection within the Steam library, which I'll be showing you soon. Last thing to do is to go to Preview, go to Generate App List. This is very important, otherwise they won't appear. And for me, it shows these two. If let's say you've got multiple installed, and you only seen to if you maximize the rest to appear and if we go down we'll see pcsx2 if you want to change the thumbnail just there's some built-in ones feel free to go here 
and mess around with it you can download it and if you click this icon here you can actually select a custom icon so you can create one grab one off google do whatever you want click save app list now we're done now we can actually go off here go to return to gaming mode double click that and in a few seconds we'll be back in gaming mode and we can play the games there's two ways of playing the games first i'll show you the i'm gonna say the least preferred way unless you want to do a few customizations and then i'll show you the preferred way once you've done all customizations if any okay so go press the steam button go to library and you might notice there's a new tab called collections in collections and they also appear in non-steam as well in collections we have emulation and in there we have all the emulators that you will have installed so if you've only done this tutorial and nothing else you have emulation station and rp and i mean pcsx2 so there's two ways of launching games pcsx2 and emulation station let me show you pcsx2 first click that before you launch it press the game controller icon just here and this is a little tip scroll down for the right trackpad behavior make sure that that is selected as mouse because otherwise you won't properly be able to navigate unless you're using the touch screen it's not a good experience next we want to be able to do a left uh, and a right click mainly actually both are useful to be fair so i'm going to map it to r4 and l4 at the back which is the top back buttons so you just press it oh no messed up there you just press it go to mouse there go to left mouse click do the same for right mouse and go to mouse right mouse click there we go now you can get off there and now we can launch this up takes a mere few seconds and now that it's launched up we can go to the game list and all the games appear here and you can start the boss if you want to you can launch a specific game if it's somewhere else we don't need to do that if you got settings there's a lot of you know settings here that you can mess around with like the renderer you can change the what's it called and uh, where is it i'm trying to find it so yeah, there's hotkeys as well that you can see for stuff like opening the pause menu, toggling full screen, you know, saving, etc. You can enable achievements, unlog into retro, uh, I think it's called retroachievements.org or something like that. And do, 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 do. I'm trying to find the setting that I was looking for. Yeah, internal resolution you can you know modify that i always recommend that you keep it as native or leave it to because i've tested it keep it as native up it depending on the game that you are playing and that's it so you can start a game here i'm going to exit because the other i'm going to show you the other way of playing games you can just select the game there if you wanted to play it that method go to emulation station go to play and you don't need to configure any controllers for the steam deck uh, using emu deck okay for some reason my theme has not changed which is weird but i'd already set up this epic noir one that's fine i can leave it uh, if it's for you probably change first time so if we click that there's all the games and i'm going to test tekken 4 out launching the game i love playing tekken 4 on these test videos because you can actually skip you know all this <laughs> So let's go to arcade battle. To I'm just gonna be see, I'll be Christy because she is the same move as Eddie, I think was she the niece of the guy who trained Eddie, I think, daughter or niece. And I mean I can spam A and B or X and Circle. Because otherwise it's a bit awkward to play. I'm literally just tapping it with my thumb, A and B. See if I can win. Yeah. 
Boom, KO. And if you want to get out of this, if you want to get out of the game and back to an emulation station, press the start and select buttons on the Steam Deck, you know, the menu. And I think it's the share button or the multitask one at the same time. And it takes you back. So that's it. That's how you set up PCFX2 using EMU Deck. Really easy, really simple. If you have any questions though, feel free to post in our Discord group, link in the description, or just post down in the comments. All links are in the description, description for everything that you need. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.